In today's video, we're gonna look at 15 mind-blowing hacks that came from one single community member. Let's get into it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake and if this is your first time here, we share build inspiration, tips and tricks, hacks, and other creative uses of ordinary materials, all so you can finish your DIY projects. If you like seeing videos like that, then definitely consider subscribing, we appreciate it. Jeff is a community member that we met recently, and while we were in his office checking out his two amazing builds, he shared a ton of really cool hacks with us. I'm really excited to be sharing these hacks with the rest of the community in today's video. These hacks are really clever and unique, and in some ways, I'm not even sure how you're gonna use them, but that's the beauty of the community that we're building. When somebody like Jeff shares these cool ideas and hacks, other people in the community will see them and get ideas for problems they can solve in their own projects. Without further ado, let's dive into the hacks. First up is this flashlight mount that's made for bicycle handlebars. It's really simple, it's just two plastic pieces that are screwed together, and on each side you'll see a recess that allows us to secure conduit pipes with the provided rubber strap. Now, these aren't gonna offer you much as far as structural integrity goes, but they are a cool way to add accessories and things like that to your conduit builds. You can see Jeff used one in his tool cart to mount a flashlight to the side that he could easily remove if he needed to use it. Another interesting accessory that you can get for bikes is this adjustable umbrella mount. It has a clamp on one end that's meant for handlebars, but you can use it to secure conduit. And then on the other side, you have a smaller clamp. The whole thing is made of plastic, so I wouldn't expect it to hold much weight, but I could see it being another neat way to add accessories to builds. Next up are these clips that I think are used to hold flags and different things onto boats, but they work perfectly with conduit. All you have to do is snap them easily on, and as you can see, they have a nice snug fit. It's a great solution for having two pieces of pipe side by side, or you could use them to mount things with similar diameters like a broomstick. Another useful clip are these PVC clamps that are made as a cheap solution for attaching PVC pipes to flat surfaces. They come with the hardware, and like I said, they're pretty cheap. They don't squeeze tight enough onto conduit to actually hold it still, but I think these would be a great option for somebody wanting to have a removable desktop. So imagine you mount four of these to a flat surface. You can snap the surface down, keep it in place, or even slide it along the pipes. And then whenever you're ready to pull it off, you just pull the top off with the clips. The next two solutions are mounts for motorcycle handlebars. They both clamp onto conduit easily with the provided hardware. And this one gives you a flat mounting point. I really like this as a solution for elevating a flat surface, or you can flip it over and mount a flat surface flush with the conduit. The other motorcycle mount is technically made for mounting mirrors, but again, it clamps on the conduit easily and gives you a threaded mounting point for 10 millimeter bolts. The next solution is this lipped double starred threaded pipe insert. These are similar to the ones we sell on the site. The only difference is these actually have two stars that grip onto the conduit, whereas the ones we sell have one. If you need really strong pullout strength for whatever you're mounting to the conduit end, and I would pick up these. If you've ever owned a bike, then you'll definitely recognize these handlebar grips. You can get replacement grips for a few dollars. They come in all sorts of different colors, and you can slip them over the ends of conduit like we did here. I can see them being really useful in carts, disc golf caddies, or really any build that you wanna add a nice rubber grip to. The last bike accessory that I wanna share with you today is this double clamp handlebar extender. Normally, this goes onto handlebars and then gives you a smaller diameter rod that sticks off of it. I think they use it to mount like bike GPSs or a phone mount, stuff like that. But we can secure the clamps to the conduit and then we have this shorter rod that you can use to mount stuff to. Again, it's one of those things where it's not structural, but a cool accessory. Jeff used it on his tool cart to hold tape rolls, which is a really clever use for this thing. I love it when things work with conduit perfectly, even though they weren't even remotely designed with conduit in mind. This is a hinged elbow connector, so you can adjust the angle of two connected curtain rods. You can insert conduit into each side, and then there's four set screws that you can tighten to secure the conduit in place. In the middle here, there's a five millimeter bolt that you can tighten to secure a desired angle, or you can leave it loose and hinge the two pieces of conduit if you'd like. These aren't super strong, so just keep that in mind and do some testing to make sure they're the right thing for your project. Another thing I love to see in maker pipe and conduit builds is incorporated electrical stuff. Jeff built a really cool overhead lamp using this clear polycarbonate tubing. The diameter is close enough to conduit that you can securely attach a connector and incorporate it into a build. Jeff added some LED strips, two T connectors, and some bent conduit and made a really sleek looking overhead lamp. Another cool light trick that Jeff shared involved these eagle eye LED lamps. These things are super bright even though they're tiny, and if you combine them with our plastic end caps, you can mount them to the ends of conduit. All you have to do is get some of the end caps and drill or punch a hole in them, and then thread the light through. The light sits really nice in the end cap, then you'll just use the provided nut to secure it in place on the end cap. Once you tighten the nut on the back of the end cap, 
You can then thread the wires through the conduit and push your end cap in like normal, and you have a really cool conduit end spotlight. The next hack is readily available in the electrical aisle of your local hardware store. These are insulating bushings made specifically for three quarter inch EMT couplings, but they work great as feet for projects. All you have to do is add them to the ends of conduit and then apply some pressure. Once you get them fully snapped into place, you have a nice option for builds that need to rest on hardwood or a garage floor that you don't want to scratch up. They're really cheap. Now I got blue ones because that's all they had at my Home Depot, but I've seen all kinds of different colors online, like clear ones, black ones, other things. Just check to see what options are available for you. The next two solutions involve bearings and we're really excited about these. First up are these needle bearings that fit perfectly into a fresh or deburred conduit end. Once inside, you can add a 5 8 inch smooth rod into them and they fit super smooth and this allows you to add an axle or something like that to your build. They fit almost too perfect, but there is the tiniest little gap, which means they're going to slide around inside the conduit. You might want to add a piece of electrical tape or masking tape before you slide them in and that'll hold them in place. Another cool trick from Dave is to take a pipe and tube cutter and just do one rotation around the conduit. This will add a little lip on the inside of the conduit, which will stop the bearing from sliding too far in. These other bearings also fit inside of a connector if you use a little bit of a shim. Jeff used these in his build by stacking a few of them together, adding them onto a bolt, and then capping them off with a nut. This allowed him to add a stemmed caster to a CO2 cart, which was absolutely awesome. All these hacks are super cool, and this isn't even everything he shared with us. He also used one inch PVC and schedule 40 pipe, along with some rubber hose to make some really cool flag holders and other things around his shop. There were also two other things that were on back order that I really wanted to share with you, so I'm gonna mention them, even though I don't have them present for the video. The first one is this boat tube connector that works similarly to the hinged elbow connector for curtain rods that we looked at earlier. And the second one is this barrel hinge that's made to be welded onto gates. But in theory, this will allow you to clamp connectors on and make a really sweet hinge without having to do any kind of welding. Once these are back in stock, we'll pick some up and test them out and be sure to let you guys know how they work. All of the stuff mentioned in today's video will be linked down below. And again, I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Jeff for sharing these ideas with us and allowing us to share them with you guys in the community. If you like this video, leave a like and let us know down in the comments which of these hacks is your favorite. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.